So let's go do a video on the top five most common faults on an electric shower. So basically number one is you've got no power. It looks like there's no power, there's no water coming out or anything. Obviously check your fuse board, check your fuses, your circuit breakers, your wiring. Well if there's nothing external and it's internal, the first thing to check is put it onto high and operate this switch here. Just watch it, watch turn the water on and make sure this switch is being operated because there will be no power unless you've got enough pressure to operate that switch. So that's important, your pressure switch. So number two fault, if it's going hot and cold, it's usually the flow through being affected. So water comes in, flows through the heater and comes out. So if it's going hot and cold, then it's usually over a bad pressure, water pressure. So basically you want to check your tap. I was going to check the water pressure tap now on this house. So it's all the way open. So that's closed, so all the way open. And then just in a quarter of a turn so it don't get stuck. And then check the pressure. I mean that is plenty so the next thing to check is that the service valve is completely on. So it's got to be dead in line with the pipe. So you've checked all that stuff. Now you've got to look at the flow valve. I'll strip that out, have a look internal. If you can't find anything to repair, just replace the old stabiliser flow valve. Now for the next one. There's no heat. So basically... As long as your pressure is coming on and operating these marker switches, the next thing to check is this TCO, the, t the thermal cutout. So you want to make sure you've got continuity across that. If that trips, it will not allow electric to the element. So obviously, the last thing now is to check the elements to make sure they're both working. That one's got 12.3 ohms and that one's got 15 ohms, so these are good. Right, and so if you've got water dripping from the bottom of your shower, that's the next most obvious one. That is usually your PRD, your pressure release device. I'll just whip that off so you can have a look inside. Basically, it's like a little cap that fits in there. If your water pressure gets too high, if your pressure in this side your heater gets too high, that will split so that this don't explode. So it's easy to replace, just put your new one in and screw it down. That's a pretty easy one that is. Most common fault is, say you've got no water whatsoever coming through, everything else looks okay. There's no water coming through or it's cutting in and out. The water will stop halfway through a shower or cut in and out. That's usually your solenoid breaking down. So test your solenoid, put it onto uh, your ohms reading. It should be about 3.5 kilo ohms. That's 3.9 kilo ohms. So that's good. Uh, to replace it, you just pull it off. It's pretty hard to do sometimes. Might have to prise it off first. 
Watch you don't snap the stalk that's in the centre. If, if you do, you have to get the old inlet. But that's it, the top four common faults. So. If you got, make sure you got pressure, no power, no water symptoms. If it's going hot and cold, make sure your pressure's good. And is there all any inlets, filters are all right, and make sure the flow valve's all right. If you've got no heat, your temperature cut out in your elements. If you've got water dripping from your bottom of your shower, it's probably your PRD. And if your water's cutting in and out or there's no water, draw your solenoid valve.